and welcome back everyone today I'm on the Mac and I want to have a quick look at the accessibility options now there's a lot of options in there so I'm just going to go over them quickly to get you up and running once you've got the fundamentals you can get stuck in and just kind of tweak it to how it fits your purpose so with accessibility it's got voice over so wherever you put the cursor it reads back for you telling you exactly where you are it's got zooming options it's got text to speech so there's many good options so to start we need to go to system preferences now if you're new on the mac it'll be your system preference in your dock or top left hand corner select the apple option and select for me system preferences now your outlay may look a little bit different depending on what operating system that you're using because they tend to change it every year than they on the iso but if you can't find accessibility type it in here the box but there it is on the second line down i'm going to open it now we've got a number of options as you can see down there we've got voiceover zoom display spoken content and description so today i'll be looking at the vision options for you so if you struggle with visual impairment or it might just be headaches or whatever staring at the screen all the time it's going to be really useful options so i'm going to start today with voiceover now great option here we can turn this on and whatever you hover over or go to it will actually read back that for you and you can change the fibrosity of it so how much feedback you get and you can just tweak it how it fits your purpose now the shortcut key there is command f5 so remember that that way you don't have to keep going to accessibility and selecting this little button here to turn it off and on use it first and then see how you get on with it then you can go to your settings so what i'm going to do i'm going to turn it on with the shortcut key so it's command f5 on the keyboard voice over on system preferences accessibility window accessibility features table voice over selected his keyboard focus you are currently on a table to enter this table finder desktop license keys folder so if i tap on anything, actions of relocated items alias and actions available you are currently on alias to open press caps lock space this one wanted to show you because we can change the fibrosity of the feedback you get from that because you might want some more more feedback or basic feedback I'll show you that in a minute, but I always say just use it a little bit first so you get a feel of it. So now I can hover over, go wherever I want. So I'm going to tap on MacBook, MacBook Pro. Pro volume. Actions available. You are currently on. Click Control on the keyboard, bottom left to stop it if it's reading back quickly, and that way you can move on. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn it off quickly. Voice over off. Because a great option here quickly I want you to go to open voice over utility. Now I won't go over every option here, there's a lot, but I'll give you some basics to get you up and running. One general at the top, first option says speak the following greeting after login. So when you use the shortcut key or turn it on, remember what that was? Commands F5, it will say good morning. If you tick this, you might just want to display to tell you that it's actually on and working. I'll leave that off for now. Down here, another good option is portable preferences off. Now with this option here, it lets you take your voiceover preferences with you wherever you go. So you can set that up on an external drive whatever you need as well which is quite handy and the bottom bit is if you know if you want to allow voiceover to be controlled with apple script and obviously you've got to know apple script to use that option but a little tip here bottom right open that up and it'll give you a breakdown of each option if you want to know more on that as well now is the one i want to go to quickly with the fibrosity that's the feedback you heard when i hovered over or selected an option on my desktop now you can change the feedback you get at the top quickly here by selecting example you might want it all low now if you look underneath and i'll select medium again it gives you different feedback options now you might look at that and go actually i want to tailor that to my needs more not just three options so heading for example if I click on heading you might want low feedback on the heading not default or you might go custom and choose exactly if you want the status type and name so you might actually say i really want the status and click okay or if I scroll up, you might select button again and you can choose and break that down by tapping on it. Top down arrow and select how much verbosity you really need and description. If I click the right hand corner here, it gets rid of it for you as well. Open it up. So remember that little drop down menu to work precisely with what you need. If you use Braille, again, it's the same option. You can break down your verbosity and feedback when you're using Braille. So if someone's using Braille anyway, they're normally pretty quick with the hearing and they can really read information quickly and absorb it to their brain fast. They might want to change the speed of the voice, which I'll show you in a minute as well, to speed it up or maybe even to slow it down. So I'll show you that as well. And again, you've got your options there, high, medium or low. 
go to your text option. Again, you need to break this down to exactly what you want. For example, punctuation, you might not want none. Or you might want some punctuation. Otherwise, if you're having something read back to you and it's got no punctuation, sometimes it does make no sense. So you just might want to limit that to some, maybe. Again, the choice is yours. So go through those options once you've been using it for a while. For example here, when moving the cursor, speak text that the cursor passes. You might not like that, so you might actually speak text to the right of the cursor. So you can really tailor that to your needs again. Announcements. Really good option here, actually. For example, announce when the caps lock key is pressed. The amount of times that I turn caps on, I forget to turn it off when I'm typing. And I've got to go back and lowercase it. So to know it's on can be a really good handy option for you as well. And again, have a look at those options and play around with them, including at the bottom here, where you can play tone, for example, when status text changes under voiceover, it'll do a little tone for you. You can change that to speak text. And again, speak sizes and position in inches, millimeters, or points. So there's a few options there that I feel that you might need to change pretty quickly. Kind of come down to speech. Now, here's the voices. This is what's reading back to us. So, for example, see here, 45. So if I have to speed it up and go up to about 60, that would be a lot quicker. Rate 59, rate 60. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. And then I'll slow it down. Rate 49. The best way to predict the future is to invent it. Perfect. So you can play around with that to get the voice. But if you're not happy with Serena, click the drop down menu. You have got other voices there you can play with. If you go to customize, these are built into the Mac. There's loads of good voices there. A lot of people tend to go for natural sounding voices, which you would, obviously, just easier to listen to. And there's loads out there. I think Fiona, the Scottish voice, is pretty good, and the Irish Moira. And there's some good American ones in there as well, so definitely worth a look at. By the way, if I go bottom left, click plus. You can even choose your language and add a whole new language if you wish. So if you're multilingual, that could be really beneficial for you as well. So there's a few options. You've got loads in there. You've got navigation. You can go through web and sound. And a lot of them are kind of straightforward. But if you get stuck with anything, bottom right hand corner, little question mark. And that will give you all the information you need on each option broken down. So definitely worth clicking on those little options. So I'm going to close that. So there's your first option, which is voiceover. Thanks for watching.